Hi everybody, welcome once again to Root Access. Ryan Ritchie, Jamie DeGrazio with you. We like to talk about uh, Apple products, Apple tech support, but it's not an Apple product nope. What's today. What's this doing here? Again? It's, it's Again. back <laughs> by popular demand. Uh, your Dell Mini 9, yep. correct? Running uh, what looks like OS 10. So yep. the it's, lawyers, not a skin. it's not a skin. The lawyer said I should say what looks like. What look, yeah. That keeps us safe. Uh, so by popular demand, folks want to see a little bit more in action, mm -hmm. some of the apps they're familiar with uh, on the Mac running on here. So uh, let's take a look. All right, so here we are, uh, Dell Mini 9, OS 10 desktop. Yep. Um, where should we start? Well, um, so just in terms of performance, uh, this, I guess we could start with the, the, the benchmarks. Okay. So we downloaded that uh, application called Geekbench. Okay. And we ran it prior to, uh, you know, a couple minutes ago. And so the score gives you, I mean, it looks at a bunch of, Figure, it looks at a bunch of components of the hardware, it looks at the processor, and I mm -hmm. guess the graphics card, the RAM, what have you, and then it, it, it comes up with a total score. Okay. And it comes with uh, the Mac Mini, or excuse me, the Dell Mini is 948 is the total score. So what does that compare to? I mean, I guess that's the big question. What That number doesn't mean anything until you compare it to other And computers. we're opening up uh, Safari. Now this looks a little different. Yes, yeah, so it's running the beta version of Safari. Safari 4, it's, it's okay. It's fine. So, um, that 946 is about roughly equal to what you would get in terms of a a 1.6 iMac or excuse me 1.6 Power Mac G5. That's 950. Wow. wow. Um, so if you that's a desktop now. Okay. So yeah. if we were looking at like an older portable, so Apple's old, smallest portable was the in screen size was the 12-inch PowerBook, mm -hmm. which they no longer make, and the the benchmark on that was let's see if we can find it. Um, the last one they made was the 1.5 G4. Mm -hmm. and the benchmark on that was 721. So you figure it's somewhere between the old 12 inch PowerBook and the first entry model G5. That's pretty impressive though to have a, a G5 more or less yes. for for what 400 bucks here. For, what you for have under 400 dollars. Okay. What you so that's there. what you're getting in terms of you know processor power. Okay. Now before you go any further, so we have Safari. This is uh, beta four. Um, is it snappy enough on here? Is it, it, yeah. I mean, it doesn't I don't notice it being any different than you know running it on the iMac where I have it work or the the, the Mac Mini I have at home. Mm -hmm. um, again, a browser I guess isn't that processor intensive. Okay. And to refresh people who maybe missed the earlier segments, how much RAM do you have in here? Two gigs. Two gigs of RAM. Two okay. Gigs of RAM. Let's check out iPhoto. Okay, so this is an older version of iPhoto, unfortunately. Um, I'm sure the new one would run just as well, but this is iPhoto 6. Mm -hmm. And you can see uh, no problem scrolling through photos. Mm -hmm. So let's, can we pick one and, and yeah. try to, uh, let's do something to this one. Maybe uh, adjust the colors or something or an effect would be fine. So it's instantaneous, essentially. Yeah, I mean, again, it's probably going to run iPhoto as well as um, a G5, you know, a 1.6 G5. Now, you had mentioned you had uh, remote desktop installed on here, and you found it interesting how this computer is identified on a network. Yes. So for whatever reason, remote desktop will identify the, the Dell Mini 9 as a MacBook Air. <laughs> With a 1.6 processor, I'm not sure what it's and looking an extra at. $1,200 in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, $1,600. I'm, I'm not that. sure what it's looking at. Uh, whether it's just looking at a processor speed or screen size, but that wouldn't make sense. So mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure, but that's why it's identifying it as a, a MacBook Air. And this is the Atom processor at what? 1. 1.6. 1. 1.6. Okay. Yeah, so, so some people might be wondering, well, what about is that going to be good enough for let's say media playback? I know you. You're the king of DivX. You're the <laughs> king, DivX king. King of DivX. Yeah, so um, this is quickly about the Mac. It's a 1.6 Atom processor. Two gigs two of DDR gigs of RAM. RAM. Yep. Okay. So it will play um, DivX, uh, no problem. So this is your standard VLC. Yep. Let's see. We can open recent. Um, yeah, that's my. It's uh, Ferris Bueller. And his buddy, what's his, what's his buddy's name? Oh, I don't know. Come on. What's his buddy's name? Cameron. Cameron, very good. Well done. <laughs> yeah, so. Looks fine, doesn't. Looks fine. Yeah, no not skipping. choppy at all. Nope. 
So I'm wondering then, does that mean you could almost use a Dell Mini 9 with the OS, uh, OS 10 if, you're, if you wanted to, as your media center? I mean, there's a VGA out on this. Yep. No digital port out, correct? Is there, there's no DVI option? There's not, there's not. Uh, so that might be a limitation. Yeah, I mean, most uh, HDTVs probably have uh, VGA of some sort. Yeah, and Front Row does work on here as well, so. Hmm. Could use front row, um, but again, no remote. No remote and no infrared sensor, so even if you bought a remote separately. But you could probably do something with Bluetooth to... I yeah, and I'm, I, I'm not sure. Can you use front row with your phone, iPhone? With can, that, the, can that control front row? Uh, there is that There's the app, app that controls iTunes, and I'm sure that would work because that's over Wi-Fi. And, of course, iTunes, um, I mean, we can look, take a look at it, but it, it works just as well. So the bottom line here is in a package for less than... $400, Less than $400, yeah. You're getting essentially a portable G5 1.6 gigahertz machine, uh, give or take. At, at least, you know, roughly speaking. That's mm -hmm. one set of benchmarks. Of course, you could go somewhere else and get wildly different benchmarks. But very interesting. And, and you are going to have... Um, a lower end graphics card, obviously. Yeah, so it's it's the integrated Intel graphics card that was in the previous Mac Minis. Okay, so there you go. Uh, you're getting a lot of, well, I don't wanna say a lot of performance because obviously compared to current Macs, it's not in the same ballpark with, with a lot of bench scores, but for basic tasks, yep. I guess that's why they it's call it a netbook. Performance, yeah. uh, but it certainly has enough horsepower to run the OS and run the basic apps that people expect. And it's legal. It's, it's legal, right? Oh, well, you better get this off. If you have any <laughs> questions or comments, send them in to us, root at the digital lifestyle.tv, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye bye.